In this video clip today, what I've got for you is field quality control. Here we have a knife made by Jason Degnan of RJ Bushcraft. And basically this one has definitely failed the quality control. The knife itself has got a slight bend on it. He left it in too long at the heat treatment. And it's probably going to be very, very brittle. So he's asked me to come out, test it and break it. We see how this one works out. I'm not holding high hopes for it. I do believe it will break with a lot of battening. So here we go then. Let's see how this goes on with this battening test. Now this battening test, this log as you can see, it's far too big. We'll try it anyway. There's plenty of knots in it. So let's see how it gets on. A good split. So that Scandivex that he's used seems to have worked quite well in that respect. Try and get this out. Can I get the thing out now? Because <laughs> it's too wide. So I'm going to split it right down. There we go. Right, let's try again. Try across a bit. Look at that. Now that's as hard as a nail. Just, and the blade is absolutely fine. I thought that would have broke it. Try again. Another knot, you can see, it's just there's not enough to span over. Right. And this is why I like to have a butt on my knives, or I suppose tank. There you go, you can see there, yeah, it's actually stuck on that knot. Destroy it now. If I could actually hit it. Oh, what a nightmare. Still not going through it. Oh. Oh, it's hard. Right, move. Go on, watch. Can't believe that knot. Hopefully you can pick this up. We'll keep at it. No giving in on this one.
right, try it this way. I can actually. There you go. There's a big bit of fat wood there. There's the knot. Blade. Fine. Maybe a slight wee bit of roll. No, I thought that was a wee bit of roll in there. That's fine. Keep at this. It's a good test, this one. So here's two knots together. Hard there. Great test for this knife. I thought I would have broken by now, but it seems to be standing up to the test. God, that's some knot. Just will not give in. Right. I'm slowly killing it. Now this is obviously severe abuse of your knife. If you ever come across a knot like this and it's doing this to the knife in it, tying it up and binding it. Just scrap the piece of wood, get your knife out, throw it away. Okay, I'll burn it later on when the fire's built up. Never ever do this to your knife. There is time for battening, but this is stupidity. Okay, but we're trying this knife to fail you. There we go. Clean off the edge. Seems fine. Sweating here. Oh, that's better. There's a big knot now. Yes. Oh, for such a small log, what a bit of effort there. Right, looking at the edge. Looks fine. Doesn't look like there's any cracks. Oh well, I think this knife's got to go to the workshop definitely, it's one tough knife, great utility knife, and remember never ever do that with your knives when you're out in the woods, that's just stupidity, okay, but there you go, 1075 plus, and the heat treatment's been done wrong, but it's still taking some amount of abuse, well pleased with that. So let's see how strong this tip is. Excuse the light here, the sun keeps changing. Let's see if we can snap the tip off here.
That seems fine. We can make that out. Absolutely fine. We can make that out. I know it's poor light here because the way the sun's shining, but the tip's absolutely fine. It doesn't seem to be too much wrong so far. Yep, tip's still going, fine, nothing wrong, it's actually doing alright, really surprised. You'll need to excuse this poor light here, I know I keep saying that, tip's doing amazingly well there with that tipped test. So here we go for the second test, testing the tip. As the sun kept changing there and the light, so I th thought that was quite poor the film I'd actually taken or the clips. So here's how the tip looks. So it's already done a fair bit and as you can see the mark, how deep we've got it in with the first test. And it seems to be fine. So we'll go again, try and snap this tip off on this log here. Seems to be okay. Look at that. Well, if that's what the heat treatment's done to it when it's wrong, imagine how good it'll be when it's done right. It's brilliant. Well pleased with that. It's asking a lot of your knife to do that. And there's the first test, you can see how deep the hole was. Let's see up that deep in the knife. With that depth in the knife. Second hole. This depth. It's got to do alright. This looks like it's got to be a, a knife for me to use in my workshop. Because it doesn't seem to be breaking. What we'll try next with the blade is some splitting of the wood we've just battened down. Tough 
bit of wood. Wood splitting seems to be fine. Seems to be sharp enough to do that. Let's see if it works well. Good sharp spine on it. Oh, back out. What we'll try some shavings. Oh, there we go, so it's well stuck in. Okay, try that again. We're just not quite good. Try back round. Yeah, so the edge seems to be okay as well. I know it's not really the type of knife to be using for chopping, but I'm just using a pinch grip here. Seems to be able to chop okay as well. Excellent. Look at that. Taking chunks off. Okay then, I'll catch you all in my next videos. Please like, share and subscribe. Catch you all soon. Cheers.